here with head coach for the UNCW Seahawks, Adele Harris. Uh, coach, let's first begin with the, an excerpt you wrote on uh, C. Nathaniel Brown's book, X's and O's and W's. Yeah. Uh, talk about how that came about and what you contributed. I actually have no idea how uh, Mr. Brown got my name or um, how I came up in his kind of journey to write that book. But uh, I happened to be one of the coaches that he contacted. But uh, so happy I did. Um, I, I like the concept around it. You know, yeah. what basically he said, Coach, you know, I want to know what you guys do outside of the X's and O's. Mm -hmm. I want to share stories about what coaches mean to players and, and vice versa outside of the, the points and rebounds. So uh, that's right up my alley, and mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed it. And uh, I think it turned out really well. The, the kid that I, I told the story about, Stacy Hicks, is one of my former players at Tusculum, uh, her family totally appreciate the story. They loved it. I had to buy about 10 copies and send it to them. So yeah. uh, it's really good stuff. That's awesome. Well, let's talk about that student, you know, student athlete coach relationship. How important is that? Is that off the court? You know, for me, I think it's everything. Um, you know, I have a seven word motto I'd live by. It's serve, uh, love your people more than your position. And I, I think that's what it's all about. I think it's, I think it relates whether you're a father, uh, whether you're a mother, whether you're a high school principal, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a CEO of a major corporation, I think you gotta take care of your people. Uh, and that starts with relationships and investments and uh, connecting beyond what we actually do, beyond our talents. Uh, Cause I'm more than a basketball coach. I have a story and a journey of my own as well. And so do our kids. So uh, it's a staple of what I do. Uh, I think it's my purpose in this job. What's one thing you've learned as a coach? Oh, gosh. I mean, <laughs> man, uh, I have learned, I mean, to, to just stay consistent. I have learned that it's about people. I've mm -hmm. learned that kids can teach me far more than I could probably ever teach them. Um, I have learned that you're probably going to, to get out as much as uh, you put in as it relates to those relationships, not just your work, mm -hmm. um, but your heart work mm -hmm. um, is what I like to call it. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, relationships are everything. I think we can win more as a family than as a team. Um, so I like to always have those type of uh, vocabulary words within what we do. Now you play for Charlene Curtis. Yeah. At Wake Forest, she, you know, charged the officiating here yeah. at the CAA. Yeah. Talk about the impact, <clears throat> first of all, she had on your career. Well, I mean, just personally, uh, Charlene being a minority mm -hmm. uh, female, uh, was one of the first examples I've ever had of someone who was a professional um, and at a school like Wake Forest, which mm -hmm. is, um, you know, I'm from High Point, so I've always understood how prestigious of a university that was. I mean, it was always different than, you know, I hate to sh you know, talk bad about anybody else, but it was always different than going to NC State. Yeah. It was always different than going to Carolina. It was, you know, Wake Forest is different, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then they happened to have, you know, some really good men's basketball players and so on, but it's an academic school. Mm -hmm. um, but for her to be in a leadership position in that environment, uh, that example, uh, I think it's directly directly correlated to what I'm doing today, uh, being a minority in a leadership environment uh, on the UNCW campus. Well, let's wrap up today with this question. Uh, what is it like coaching and living in Wilmington? For me, it's, I mean, it's a dream come true to coach basketball mm -hmm. in general. And I, I would do it on a piece of ice in Alaska. I tell everybody that. I would coach 10 and under AAU girls. I would yeah. coach the middle school level. I would coach junior college. I would coach anywhere. But the fact that I get to do it at the beach and the fact that I get to do it in one of the best mid-major conferences in the country was such a great tradition of women's basketball and has impacted the landscape of women's basketball um, is just God sprinkling a little bit of, you know, congratulations on yeah. you. I mean, I, I feel so grateful every day I get to do it. So, you know, not something I take for granted. Very, very grateful. Coach Adele Harris, thank you very much for joining us thank today. You. Thank you. Thank you.